Does it work? No. Does it work? Ah, yeah, it works. Okay, perfectly. So, hello, everybody, to our core conversation, State of the Media Initiative. So today we will present you uh, what we currently achieved and what our plans for the future. And hopefully in the end we will have some time to uh, answer all your questions. And, but if not, then we will have an extended buff uh, right after this session. So just to, to, introduce, you, uh, to introduce us, um, my name is Christian. I'm one of the Thunder um, distribution developers, and I'm yeah, a media core contributor the last couple of days and years, and uh, working uh, a lot with media stuff. So, next, okay, Adam. Yeah, um, I'm Adam Benaproxima on D.O. Um, I'll look at my own credentials here. Um, I currently rock the lightning distribution for Acquia. I uh, help to maintain the uh, media module and the migrate subsystem in core currently. I've been doing this for uh, 10 years and I make mistakes all the time, so. Forgive me. <laughs> okay, well, if everybody's introducing yourself. I'm uh, Sean, I'm a freelance developer doing Drupal for eight plus years and uh, now a media core maintainer. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so uh, first we want to show you uh, what's the current state in Drupal 8. So with current state, uh, we mean until uh, 8.3. So uh, we just have yeah, file upload, image upload, you all know that. Uh, you can add responsive images, you can uh, place images in Visivic. Uh, we have some accessibility features like you have to add alt Alt, title, alt tag and title tag, and just basic file listing. So, yeah, just basic integration, not nice things. Um, so, uh, what we currently cannot do is reuse media, so you have to upload an image uh, every time you want to use it. So, if you want to reuse an image, it's not possible to use the image you already uploaded, you have to upload it again. Uh, yeah, we don't have a sidebar media library, that's what I said. Um, we have no support for any remote stuff, so just support for uploading images or files, but it's not possible to add YouTube stuff, Twitter stuff, and other remote media stuff. <laughs> and we are not able to attach metadata to all these, uh, uh, to the, the files, so just title tag and uh, alt tag what you can do currently. And we have bike upload, yeah. You can upload two images for a file field. That's it. Um, in contrib space, we are having file entity, which extends the uh, file functionality a bit so that you can attach fields uh, to files, but you shouldn't use it because, uh, yeah, it's outdated and it, there's no maintenance anymore. And uh, if you're looking for something in contrib space, you should use uh, Media Entity, which has support for yeah, uh, remote stuff and integrations for image and file uploads and stuff like that. So, uh, in Contrib Space, we have a uh, yeah, advanced uh, um, eco media ecosystem um, that grown in the last years. Um, you can use Entity Browser. Uh, which is really powerful. Um, you can embed videos, you can embed anything with, uh, uh, with entity embed, and you have crop functionality for yeah, setting focal points or creating uh, crops out of images. So, media initiative, someone of you want to do? Okay, so as Christian just described, the ecosystem around media is in, mostly in contrib right now, out of the box with Drupal 8, mostly coalesced around media entity and all those modules he just mentioned. The media initiative aims to bring a significant amount of this into core. There will, so the overarching goals of the media initiative, of which we are a part, um, is to implement in Drupal the basic 
uh, media handling you would expect in any CMS, you know? And okay, we're all thinking WordPress. I was thinking WordPress when I wrote that. Um, you know, and also, but because this is Drupal, um, we don't just want to stop there. We want to have an API in place so that you can extend that, customize it, you know, integrate with more stuff. Um, and by integrate with more stuff, I'm talking about third-party media services. I'm talking about DAMs. Um, so it has to be very flexible. It has to be very Drupal, Drupal-y, the good parts, the good way of Drupal-y. Um, so the media initiative has three phases. Phase one is the current one, and we're calling it essentials. And the goals of the essentials, or the first phase of the media initiative, um, are to define the APIs in core that support uh, media handling in Drupal. Um, it's also to have parity, like uh, interface parity, user interface parity, with uh, the core file and image modules. Because out of the box, the two types of media the core actually supports are files and images. Um, and if we want people to start using the new media system, we're going to have to make damn sure that uh, they can use file and image, files and images uh, with as much ease as they are used to. Um, we also want to bring in a media library um, so that, as Christian just said, you, can no long, you currently can't reuse files and images. You have to re-upload them. Well, we're going to fix that. Um, we want to support O-embed media, so like YouTube is an example of that, um, which is a very nice and easy way to support remote uh, remote media in core. Most of this stuff is targeted for Drupal 8.5, and so far it's looking pretty good. Um, then we want to tackle embedding all this stuff into a WYSIWYG because that's obviously pretty crucial. A little bit harder. Um, looks like it's going to be 8.6, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to accelerate that. Phase two of the media initiative is the extras, uh, the extras phase. And that's all taking place in contrib space. And that's shiny things built on top of the relatively spare uh, core media API. So like multi-image upload, cropping, uh, you know, really awesome, um, you know, browsing for files, media items, cooler things you can do with embedding. I don't know. The possibilities are endless. It's contrib. Um, possibly some of that, depending on how it looks, how it materializes in contrib, maybe some of that will be moved into core. Um, but that's, don't, you know, you didn't hear it from me. And then the third phase of the media initiative is pretty far off in the future right now. It's called the extend phase. And this is, again, all in contrib space. And this is really about integrating Drupal's media system, providing the tools to really uh, cleanly integrate Drupal's media system with third-party dams and stuff like that. Because Drupal's really, really flexible. But sometimes, you know, you just want to use another system that has solved a lot of the really hard problems. Media can get complicated. You could have, like, geo things, licensing things, adverts. I don't. You know, I don't know the problem space that well, personally. Um, but we want to be able to integrate with those services that handle it better, rather than roll it all ourselves. Sean, you want to cover this yeah, part? Yeah, sure. OK, so the architecture. Um, yeah, th what's really important is we try to make use of the standard APIs that's already in core. So media entity is a core um, content entity just like node is, for example. Then we have the media types that are config entities, just like node types are, so nothing new is going on here. Then we have a new situation going on with um, the source plugins. Like, media has a, a kind of re reusable uh, situation where you could have like a Facebook plugin that could uh, provide the integration with the Facebook ID and maybe an author or whatever. And you can have multiple types of uh, sources for a situation. So you have like an image. You can have like logos or maybe some other types of images. You can have me different media types that are all using the same source plugin. And let me just dive into that a little deeper. So each media type is associated with one source plugin. Like I said, for images, for example, you can have logos or flyers or whatever. They can all be separate media types. The media source will be responsible for the logic, how it's saved. So you have like a file ID that's saved for a specific type. Also the validation and the metadata. You can have different types of metadata. <coughs> Excuse me, can I have some water? Mm -hmm. That's associated with a, a specific source plugin. So you can have an author of an image. You can have the width, the height. All types of stuff that could come in um, 
for a source, we can also store that. And the media source is um, handling how the actual source is providing the data to your media type. And like the configurable field situation is um, when you want to store the metadata, you can just define the fields like you would normally do for a node. Just put the fields in your media type and every type of metadata, like an author or width or height, just store it in those fields. It's really a complex situation. I hope I explained it okay. So um, the media library is the second thing. We want to have like a pared down version of what's already happening uh, in other situations. So we have like the entity browser is already providing a great solution for uh, picking different types of, uh, of picking different media entities right now. And, and we also looked at other systems um, just to provide a good way to reuse media. And it's not an API. So you won't be able to extend the core media library. We just um, provide like an 80% use case and make sure that uh, we solve that. And if you want to do something special, just do it in contrib. The uh, display of items will be done through a regular view mode, so you can basically configure that how you want. And um, yeah, just uh, the, 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 the way you just add that to a field, it's a widget for a regular entity reference field. So just configure that on your view mode or if you're on your form, sorry, and then uh, it will just work. Um, the creation part of the media library would be really nice to have, but it's not part of our plan for the MVP, like the, the, valuable, the minimum valuable product. Pro product? <laughs> yeah. So sorry. Um, and it will be in a separate module. So we have a media in core right now, but the media library will be in a separate module and will be experimental at first, and we can work on that in a separate situation. So uh, yeah, it's, it's not storing any data, so. This is a image of what we are working towards. This will probably not be the MVP, as we call it, but uh, this is, yeah, basically something that we created to just keep in mind where we want to go. And like what I said, this, the creation part will probably not be in there. Um, we are looking at the tabs and just being able to select uh, just different types of media and add it. But um, yeah, we're working hard on it, but it's complex. <laughs> so. So next topic, uh, our roadmap. Um, what's already done, we have media entity module in core. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and we renamed it to media, so don't be confused. <laughs> um, we also have plugins for um, document and images, so that's already working. And uh, yeah, we have a stable app stable API, so media module uh, went in as stable, so you can rely on that and it's no experimental phase before. Um, some things where, where we are currently working on is um, the migration path from uh, media entity to <coughs> media in core. So this migration path will happen in a new branch of the media entity module. Uh, so there will be a 2.x branch for media entity and this branch will probably just um, just have the yeah, the upgrade pass and no other code. So that's our plan, how we will do the updates. Um, we have to implement widgets for media reference fields um, that we have uh, parity with the um, current situation in core for files and, uh, and images. And of course we need migration paths for file and image. <laughs> This is all targeted for 8.5, and as Sean said, media library is targeted for 8.6. So other smaller issues we are working on is per bundle permissions. Maybe this will uh, go in at DrupalCon, I hope so. Uh, 
new source plugins for OEmbed support so that you can use uh, or can add media types with uh, for for YouTube or Vimeo or stuff like that. Um, yeah, code improvements and uh, improved metadata mapping. So that's just a short overview. Uh, if you want to look deeper in it, there is a roadmap issue with all the tasks. And do we okay. Yeah. Most FAQs here. So one of the things Christian just mentioned was the migration path. That's more, I would use the word cross-grade to describe that because you have, all, you have media entity, you have all these modules built on top of media entity with media entity as a dependency. Media entity is going to have, as he mentioned, a 2.x branch and all that 2.x branch is gonna do is turn off media entity and turn on core media. So what that means is that we have to have all of those modules that currently rely on media entity, they have to start using the, uh, the core media API. So we have to port those. We're sprinting on that here at DrupalCon. Help us out, please. Um, but anyway, so how do you port your module that's been integrated with media entity? If you've written a custom module that uh, has a dependency on media entity, uses some of its features or some of its APIs, we wrote a really good change record. Um, 2863992, if you can't see that, um, which describes exactly what you have to change. Um, you know, use this interface instead of that interface, you know, extend this class instead of that one, stop calling this method, stuff like that. Um, it's actually pretty straightforward if, uh, for any coders. Should be. Um, so yeah, when you want to start with Drupal 8 right now, what should you use? As much as it pains me to say it, continue to use media entity for now just because we haven't finished the uh, cross-grade paths for all of Media Entity's ecosystem, but once we have, you should use Core Media, and Media Entity will be deprecated, and we will update its project page on D.O to say as much. Um, and I just realized the third question is basically the same one as the second. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you can use, so once you're, bas I think the main point here is once you're using Core Media, you can use any other contrib module that is built on Core Media. <coughs> Pretty simple. You know? And if you're going to be using a contrib module that still needs media entity, uh, well, you're probably going to have conflicts and maybe should upgrade that module. <coughs> um, but yeah, I think that's that. So we can always use all the help we can get with this stuff. And um, as I just mentioned, the most important thing right now for us is to port all of the, you know, 8.4 is about to come out and, you know, the media module is in there, so people are going to want to switch to this. and so all of the, at least, at the very least, we want to have the top 10 most used uh, contrib integrations with media entity to be ported over to core media. That's what we're mainly sprinting on here. Um, so if you have module authoring experience, by all means, help us out. Um, if you want to join our initiative meetings, it's in the Drupal Media IRC channel on uh, IRC uh, every Wednesday at 3 uh, Greenwich Mean Time. And us three can be caught, uh, contacted, or Gabor, wherever he is. I don't think he's here. And uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. So, thank you. Any questions? <laughs> if you have questions, then the mic, yes. Yeah, just come up to the mic. So, uh, one of the last things you mentioned is that um, if you need to rely on a contrib module that is not, has not been ported yet to the core media entity, you should do that with care because generally uh, that would force you to rely on media entity, uh, on the media entity entity type. Uh, if you have budget, would it make sense to um, work on porting the, the contrib module? Yeah, of course, so that is what you would recommend. So uh, the uh, maintainers of the module should definitely accept this uh, as a proposal, okay? This is the, the right way to move forward, right? Yes. I mean, media entity is going to be deprecated anyway. Um, so if they're going to, if they're stubbornly insisting on relying on media entity, and I don't know why they would, okay. um, then, yeah. I think there are issues for most of the modules relying on it already. Okay. So uh, if you want to and have time to do it, then there's an issue for, I think, almost all modules relying on media entity, so you can work on that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah. So please do. Yes, please. <laughs> Yes, please port modules, <laughs> we like that.
Sounds like a, a, a great start to things, but one thing that I didn't understand the, the reasoning behind was you're saying that the library browser would not be extensible. That feels like the wrong decision to me. Well, not being extensible made it sound scarier than it, than it actually is. Um, by not extensible, maybe that, yeah, that was actually pretty bad wording. It's now. not an API. It's just, yeah, we just mean it's not an API. It's not really <coughs> gonna have classes that you can extend or anything like that. It is gonna use views. And it's gonna use like a configurable view. So like if you wanna change the filters or whatever that we give you in the media library, you will be able to do stuff like that. Yeah, from a grid to like a list. That's yeah. Also doable. And yeah. You can also use view modes. So that's, yeah. that's really powerful stuff. We can already do a lot with that. Yes, we wouldn't lock you down to one thing because everybody would hate us. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anybody else? Yes. Hi, so um, when Drupal 8 came out, the only sort of media as such that it handled was images, and, and they were image fields. But um, so my question is about when we bring things like video and audio into Drupal, we have uh, an opportunity to manage the other stuff that goes around with that, like captions and transcripts and so on. Yes. And so if you had like uh, video f videos which were files that lived on your own Drupal installation, you could maybe, you'd, you know, how would you manage captions and uh, transcripts there, especially when you might have a mixed media thing where some of the videos are on your own site and some come from YouTube and some come from Vimeo or whatever, and they have their own uh, like ways of handling uh, transcripts and captions. Do you think that there could be an API level type thing or, or where in the structure would it be? Would it be in core or control? I think, I think you could already do that. The way I would do that is I would create two media types, right? So as I think Sean said, every media type has, every media type must be associated with one source plugin and the source plugin is really the heavy hitter in a media type. It sort of determines, it's really the bridge between sort of Drupal and whatever the media actually is. Like if it's YouTube, Vimeo, or just some video file on your hard drive somewhere. Um, so the source plugin is responsible for being able to say like, oh, can, it's like, oh, hello, Vimeo plugin. Can you get me a caption for this video? And it could maybe talk to Vimeo and then get that back. And then you could handle that differently um, for a local video plugin, for example, or a local video um, media type. So essentially, yeah, we already have that API already exists. And do you think that's gonna be sort of stuff that'll have sensible like defaults or stuff included in core, or is that more something that contrib and site building needs to take into account? Um, I mean, in core is not gonna have that. Core only has two media types to start with. It has file and image. And it, we, I think we have sensible defaults provided for those, right? Um, yeah. Like in terms of. Yeah, we, we try to ship with at least default media type for us each source plugin. And we are working on an OMBED plugin for like YouTube. And yeah. That also will ship with a default media type. But um, yeah, you can already, uh, yeah, you can go crazy with it. Right. Yeah. And, and use Contrib as well. So yeah. Okay. There will be some defaults, but we could probably not solve every use case in core. Yeah. But you know, TLDR, Thanks. the API exists. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Oh, two minutes. Gotcha. Okay, sorry, I was like, I don't know that now. Yeah. Hi. Uh, hi. Um, Juice this morning mentioned um, Facebook and Twitter and the like, uh, the new standard when it comes to like, you know, uploading media and stuff like that. Uh, is there any part of the initiative that's like, Concentrating on the UX of the whole deal, uh, you know, is it going to be JavaScript? Is it going to be some nice, um, you know, ways of like actually uploading the content for the oh, for the editor? <laughs> I don't, you know, it's that's a really advanced question in the sense that I don't even I don't even think I've thought about that before yet. Uh, um, I don't think we're thinking about that right now. Um, I certainly wouldn't be opposed to having, um, you know, I like. I like nice UIs, I'm only human, you know? So, and I think we all do. So, I don't know if we're gonna have like really nice JavaScript UIs for dealing with this stuff. And like there's also a certain, you know, there's, there's like certain limitations of what we can do with just core's toolkits, you know? Now granted, if we end up getting like a JavaScript framework in core maybe, and 
you know, things start changing on that front, then quite possibly. But I don't think that the initiative, that the media initiative is necessarily concentrating on that, in all honesty. Yeah. Well, we're working closely with the UX team and uh, constantly going back and forth yeah. over all the decisions we make that that's really considered as yeah. like the user interface. So, yeah, we, we are paying attention to it. And, uh, we can always do better, of course, but at least it's clear in the back. That's true. If users are going to see it, we always check with UX people to make sure it makes sense before we commit it. You know, yeah. So yeah, I think I think that's all the time we got. Okay, well, sorry, but we have a ball. So if you have more questions, then mob us. Can I do one more? One more, pretty please. Come on. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, thanks for the presentation. For me, the, the, I work for a big organization, having a lot of large websites built in Drupal, and the file management causes us two main problems. Mm. We don't have publication workflow for files. Yeah. And secondly, it's not as such translatable. Uh, so are you going to address that? And if you have an idea of when, that will be addressed. Thank you. Well, it's an interesting question because the difference, like one of the reasons we didn't build this around files